morning, beautiful people on beautiful planet Earth. Today we're gonna go see the blue water. Hopefully it's blue. Last night it rained, so when it rains, the water will go green. So we're gonna go check it out right now. We went last night, it was still blue. It started raining pretty hard, so we wanna, fingers crossed it's still blue, right Shakita? If not, she's gonna choke me, she says. that so yeah let's go check it out people are barely waking up around here oh wow it's a beautiful sunrise right there look at that right there pretty okay so we got here and it's not very blue it's kind of green really green so it's not always azules no more it's kind of always verdes i guess very sad she's never seen them blue before I've already been here I've seen them before like four years ago but even though the water is not blue I think it's still very beautiful yeah. okay, so we talked to some of the locals and they said if it doesn't keep raining it's gonna turn blue in a couple of hours two or three hours it'll be blue so yeah we just gotta cross our fingers hope it doesn't rain again but we'll see more blue waters for now we're gonna get some breakfast there's breakfast right there. <laughs> this is where we're gonna eat right here. Another coffee. The coffee is grown right here in Chiapas, up the mountain a little bit. So it's very fresh, very delicious. These tortillas were barely made on the spot right here. That's pretty cool. He's gonna teach us how to make tortillas. Okay, so we're eating the tortilla and she made with her bare hands her first tortilla. Hi, there's a rainbow, a waterfall rainbow. That's so cool. Finally, the water is clear and blue. So I'm gonna jump in right here. I wanna swing off that swing right there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so we're leaving our hotel right now. Uh, we don't have any cash to pay. They don't take cards right here at this hotel so we had to go to the one down the road a little bit they accept uh, visa cards and whatever Check this out. Hola. Hi, they wanted the we're just gonna walk down the road a little bit uh, there's other cabins they do accept Visa car. It's not too bad that other place didn't accept some pretty nice little place right there. Okay, so these are the little cabins. They look a lot nicer. Um, the last cabin we were at didn't really have any toilet paper or no towels or nothing. Yeah, it's like a hundred pesos more, like five dollars more. So one more thing about Chiapas is toilet seats are a luxury. Basically, like, I don't know. 80% of the cabins and places we've stayed at do not have toilet seats, which is not very cool at all. So here, right outside of the cabin, they got bananas. Yeah, you just pick fruit right off the tree. Pretty cool, if you ask me. These are pretty cool cabins right here. So check out these pretty flowers. Wow. Look, they got some berries and stuff. We got all of this for 25 pesos. Super good deal. It's like one and a half dollars. You get all the coconut water, and all the coconut with chili and stuff. Like one and a half dollars. One dollar and fifty cents. Super good deal. There's another waterfall over here. They want to charge 30 pesos just to go see it. I guess we're going to go see it. We're getting kind of bored of the same waterfalls already. Okay, so you got to cross this kind of pretty sketchy bridge. Holy shit! Wow, this is a very sketchy bridge you gotta cross. Hey, calm down, don't swing it so hard. Whoa, whoa, man. This thing literally wobbles back and forth. It's 
so yeah, okay, across the bridge. This is where we gotta pay 30 pesos, I guess. This guy. Oh, he paga. Quanto cuesta? 60. 60? Yeah, it's a rico. Si. Okay? I don't have money. No, no, no. our guide right here. So, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is cool. New adventure. I made 30 pesos to cross this. Oh man, that is cool. Nice. Man, what did I get myself into? <laughs> wow. And flip flops and everything. This one's not so bad. Okay, so I get the feeling we're getting close. Este? Si, hay otro aquí. Oh, hay otro. Still going, I mean, it goes on for a while. Some pretty dope mud stairs right here. Pretty nice. We've been walking now for 20 minutes, no joke. Um, still haven't got to the waterfall. This is very cool. I know I say everything's very beautiful, but it's because it's true. I mean, everything is very beautiful. We live on a very, very beautiful planet. I mean, look at that, wow, that's cool. We have all to ourselves. We get to swim in there. No other tourists around. So, I mean, wow, this is beautiful. So, yeah, let's get in. He says we could swim around. Just don't go too far. He says the currents are strong and, and uh, they could take you under or take you somewhere, you know, you don't want to get under the waterfall. Kind of a path this way. To so basically walk all the way over here. The feathers and whatnot here. I mean, this is just insane. Wow, the wind right here gets pretty intense. Pretty crazy. Whoa. You basically got a little whirlpool right here. Just to hang out and chill. Right under the waterfall right here. There's a cave and whatnot. What? Okay, so we're going to a second waterfall. I don't know how to get there exactly, but the guy's pointing it out. I guess it's this way. Wow, look at this beautiful blue pool of water. This place is insane. And the coolest part is, we literally have it all to ourselves. I mean, 
There's really nobody else here. No more tourists, no more nothing. Whoa! Another waterfall on this side. That is just so insane. Wow, this one looks a little bit dangerous though. Probably not gonna be able to swim in there. Wow. So I mean, this is insane. We found a hidden treasure. There's nobody else here. It's just our guide, me and Karina. Look at that. We're not gonna be swimming in there, that's for sure, but I'm gonna go swim around in the other one that's just right there. That's the one we can swim around in. This one looks pretty dangerous. That is insane. Whoa. Look at that. I almost want to go in there, but I don't have any shoes. It looks kind of pretty in there. Wow, babe, do you want to go in there? I feel truly blessed to be here right now. This is amazing. Pretty insane. Let's jump in there again one more time. So this is probably the coolest experience in all of Chiapas. So I found this perfect rock. I mean, look at that. It's so smooth, oval. I mean, just, ah, it's beautiful. It's different from all the other rocks. So I'm gonna keep this thing. This is so freaking insane. I can't even believe it. It's like, there's like a beach right here too. I don't know if you can see it. Like, look at this. I guess it's not round, it's like a oval. It's super cool. Wait! Okay, so that was a hell of an experience. I guess we're leaving now. So yeah, I have to say goodbye to this beautiful place. It's called, ¿Cómo se llama aquí? Cascada Velo de Novia. Cascado, Cascada Velo de Novia. I guess that's like the bridal, the bridal thing, you know? So I guess you, you can see like that. Hay, hay Cascada de Voltadera. De Voltadera. De Voltadera. So he says there's waterfalls from here, the biggest waterfall yet. It's a three hour journey from here. And he wants to charge me 500 pesos take me there. I'm guessing no tourists really go there so um, yeah it'll be a private journey just between me and him three hours into the jungle but let's see if this little chica will let me go. If she doesn't let me go I guess I can't go because <laughs> I guess he says it'll be hard for her to make it so I guess it'll just have to be me and him. Let's see if we go. It'll be pretty crazy if we do go. Goodbye beautiful waterfall. I'll never forget you. <laughs> Wow, there's a snake right there, hauling ass, I mean. Hey amigo, mucho gracias. Nos miramos. So it's pouring really hard right now, it's insane. This is how the river turns so brown, it rains really hard around here. So it went from not raining at all, not even cloudy within 10 minutes, 
I gotta hear these big loud thunderbolts. It's insane. Okay, so we're gonna go out and play in the rain a little bit. Right? Maybe we might leave too. We're gonna go talk with some taxis about getting out of here. I mean, there's no power right now. Who knows how long it's gonna be raining. Probably better off just to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, I found an umbrella. Umbrella sunshade. It's raining pretty hard right now. Let's check out the river. Oh, there's the river. People are clearing up all the things to sell. Okay, so we're just going back to our cabin. Guess we're staying the night here. In Osokolingo. Hmm.